ومن جاهد فانما يجاهد لنفسه اند ان وارننگ هو سو ايور سٹرائیونگ فار اس ہی از سٹرائیونگ فار ہم سیلف ہی شوڈنٹ تھنک دیٹ ہی از ڈوئنگ سم فیور ٹو اس دی بینیفٹ ول بی ہز ہی ول بی ریکمپنسڈ ہی ول بی ریوارڈڈ ہی ول بی ڈکلیئر سکسیسفل آن دی ڈے آف دی ججمنٹ ہی ول بی سینٹ ٹو ہیون اینڈ پیراڈائز and to the gardens of bliss so whosoever do, doing whatever he is doing he is doing for himself don't think you are doing any favor to me a very stern warning and this is very important for any person who is working for the deen of allah he should see or feel that i am doing something good to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you are doing good to yourself منت منح کے خدمت سلطا ہمی کنی منت شنا سزو کہ بخدمت میں داشتت ڈونٹ تھنک یو آر ڈوئنگ اے فیور وین یو آر سروگ دی کنگ یو شوڈ ایکنالج ہز فیور ٹو یو دیٹ ہی ہیز گیون یو پرمیشن ٹو سرو ہم دس پرمیشن ٹو سرو ہم از دی بلس ومن جہاد اف ان جائز النفس ان اللہ غری العالمی ویریلی Allah is free from all worlds, free from all needs. He is self-sufficient in every way. وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا عَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ Now again a consolation, a note of consolation and a note of warning, alternating. And these two things, you know, they are very important for training and teaching. وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا عَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ لَنَا قَفْرَنَّ عَنْهُمْ سَيِّعَاتِهِمْ وَلَنَا جِيَنَّهُمْ أَحْسَنَ الَّذِي كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ As to those who believe and do good deeds, We shall definitely, without any doubt, acquit them, their mistakes and their evils, vices, remit for them. And we shall definitely, surely, without any doubt, reward them, recompense them in the best what they used to do. These are our promises. These promises will be fulfilled. But you have to prove that you deserve these promises. وَوَسَيْنَ الْإِنسَانَ بِوَالِدَيْنَ Now there was a problem especially for the youth. The parents used to say to them, Well, we brought you up. Mother would say, I gave birth to you. I suckled you. We looked after you. We fed you. We brought you up. And now you are giving, us, giving up our religion. You say our religion is wrong. Our forefathers were wrong. This is our right on you. You must follow us. This is the biggest problem for any revolutionary work. Because usually the response comes for a revolutionary work from the youth. But then they are under their parents, elders. And they say we have right over you. And especially a person who has believed in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa he is definitely of a good nature. A good nature, natured young man must be very respectful to his parents. So that was the dilemma. Verily, we enjoined upon man to be respectful to his parents. But if they pressurize you, if they make jihad against you, now you just note this word jihad, jahadaka, for whom? For the Mushnik parents, the unbelieving parents, when they are pressurizing their sons, you must remain in the religion of your fathers and forefathers. This is jihad. They are doing jihad in the way of their false gods, in the way of or for the cause of their false religion. That you associate with me, that for which you have no knowledge. Don't obey them. To me, you have to return, all of you. You as well as your parents. And then I will inform you what you had been doing and what was the position of your parents when they asked you to associate with me anybody or anything. As for those who come to believe and do good deeds, لَنُدْخِلَنَّهُمْ فِي الصَّالِحِينَ 
we shall definitely, surely, without any doubt, admit them and make them enter among our righteous people. Here is a hint, you know. If you have become a Muslim, you have come to believe in Muhammad, and your parents have turned you out from your house, from their house. You have been cut from your family. But don't think you have cut only. You have been cut from those. But Allah has joined you with Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And the believers, a new brotherhood is taking coming into existence, a new family. So you are cut from there, but you are joined here. This new brotherhood, this new family, this is the bliss of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Wa min al nasi man yaqulu aman na billahi faiza uziya fi Allahi jala fitna al nasi ka azab Allah. And there are among people those who say we believe in Allah. But faiza uziya fi Allah, but when they are persecuted in the way of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, jala fitna al nasi ka azab Allah. They take the persecution of people as if it were Allah's chastisement. They are so much fearful, as they should have been fearful of the chastisement of Allah. It's only a test coming in the way of Allah through the hands of the unbelievers. وَلَا إِنْ جَاءَ نَصْرٌ مِنْ رَبِّكَ And if the help comes from your Lord, and you are victorious, then they will come and say, لَا يَقُولُنَّ إِنَّا كُنَّا مَعَكُمْ We were also with you. So we want to have the share in the booty. In whatever you have earned. أَوَ لَيْسَ اللَّهُ بِعَالَمَ بِمَا فِي صُدُورِ الْعَالَمِينَ So what do they think? Is Allah not very well aware of what is in the chests of the people? We had read in Surah Al-Hajj, وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ عَلَىٰ حَرْفٍ فَإِنْ أَسَابَهُ خَيْرٌ الْبَدْنَ بِهِ وَإِنْ أَسَابَتُ فِتْنَةٌ إِنْ قَلَبَ عَلَىٰ وَجْهِهِ خَسِرَ الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةِ This is the further stage, more advanced stage of the same disease. We read there, there are people from among people, who want to worship Allah, but alongside the coast. They don't want to go to the main current. They don't want to take the risk of their lives. So if there is peace and contentment, okay, we are going with you. But if there is some fitna, if there is test, some testing and trial comes, then they fall down on their faces. Khasrat dunya wal akhirah. This is the loss of this world as well as of the hereafter. Now this disease, when it advances, one says, I believe in Allah, I believe in the hereafter. But when there is persecution, they fall down. But if the help of Allah comes, Rasulullah wal Fatih, Warayat al Nasa Yat Khuluna fi din la afwaja, they will also come and say, We were with you. So does Allah not know what is in the minds and hearts and chests? Of the worlds, wala yala man Allahu lazina amanu, wala yala man al munafiqin. Again, you know it is repeated. Surely Allah will make it manifest who is a real believer, and Allah will expose who is a munafiq, who is a hypocrite. This is the only place in the whole of Makki Quran where this word munafiq appears. This disease actually. That belongs to the Madani period. But the seeds are here also. The plant we see in the Bakki days, Madani days, but the seeds are here. If you are weak of will, weak of character, your will power is not strong enough. You think this is correct, you adopt it, but when there is some persecution, you go back. This is the disease. And this when advances further becomes nifaq. وَلَيَعْلَمَنَّ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَلَيَعْلَمَنَّ الْمُنَافِقِينَ وَقَالَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا تَبِعُوا سَبِيلَنَا Now this is the advice of the elders to the youth. And those who disbelieve, they say to those who have come to believe amongst their youngsters, youth, اِتَّبِعُوا سَبِيلَنَا Go on following our path. Well, we are your elders. We have more experience of this world. 
وی ہیو مور ایکسپیرینس آف دی پیپل دے آر ہیو بین ادر پیپل آلسو ہو اسٹینڈ اپ اینڈ کال دی یوتھ ٹو دس وے اور دیٹ وے اینڈ روئن دیئر کیریئرس روئن دیئر فیوچرس تو وی ایڈوائز یو یو شوڈ کیپ آن فالوئنگ اس ول نہ مل خطا آیا کو اینڈ اف یو آر ویری فیئر فل دیٹ اللہ ول برنگ یو ٹو دی بک وی شیل وی شیل ویئر یور ویٹ دیٹ اٹ بی آن اس وی ول بی ریسپانسبل ٹو آنسر آن یور بیہاف و ماہم بے عملی نہ من خطا آیا ہوں من شے اینڈ ریئلی دے آر ناٹ گوئنگ ٹو بیئر فرام دیئر اون سنس اینی تھنگ شیورلی دے آر لائرس ان نہم لکاف جبول دے آر ٹیلنگ لائز بلا یہ ہمیں لنا اسکال ہوں شیورلی دے ول بی بیئرنگ دیئر اون برڈنس آف سنس وہ اسکال ما اسکال ہی ایڈیشنل برڈنس آف سنس الانگ ود دیئر برڈن وائی بیکاز دے ٹرائڈ دیس یوتھ ٹو ٹیک دیم ایسٹرے سو دے آر ایڈنگ ٹو دیئر برڈنس بٹ از سم یگ مین ٹیکس دیئر ایڈوائس اینڈ گوز بیک ویل ہز برڈن ول ناٹ بی شیئرڈ بائی اینی بڈی ہی ول بی ریکمپنسڈ ان فل ولا یہ ملن اسکال ہوں و اسکال ہم ما اسکال ہم ولا یو سلون نہ یوم القیامت اب ما کار یفترون اینڈ دے ول شیورلی بی کوشچن آن دی ڈے آف ججمنٹ واٹ واٹ تھنگس دے ور فورجنگ دیٹ وی شیل بی ریسپانسبل فار یو دے آر نو بڈی کین بی ریسپانسبل فار اینی بڈی ایلس ایوری بڈی کل ہم آتی ہے یوم القیامت فردا ایوری بڈی ہیز ٹو کم دیئر ایز اے سنگل ہیومن پرسن ریسپانسبل فار ہم سیلف نو بڈی ول بی ایبل ٹو بی ٹو ریسپونڈ فرام ہز سائڈ Now, this first section of the surah, I told you, is most profound. For people who have, let me use the word, revolutionary concept of deen, an activist concept of deen, not a static, a dynamic concept of deen. Deen is the total system of life. Deen wants its superiority. And it is the demand of deen from those who say we believe to strive hardest to whatever they have to spend that to make the deen of Allah supreme. These three sentences. Number one, those who think that our Islam is not a religion regarding only dogma and creed and some modes of worship. It's a whole system of life, number one. Number two, The system of life demands this domination. It is deen only when it dominates, when it doesn't dominate. When you are living in America, you are living under the American system, the system of America. Only you can say prayers and you can build mosques. That's all. Law, the whole political system, the whole economic system, the whole social system, the whole social values, even the family laws, you have to accept theirs. So in this condition, if you accept this condition passively, you have no iman whatsoever. No iman whatsoever. Please listen. If you have reconciled to it, if you accepted it, no, no iman. You have to live here as a fighter against this system. To try to change this system, to topple over this system, to establish the deen of Allah. And if you say we are a minority, small minority, look to Muhammad. He was all alone when he started the mission. He didn't have any ummah already present in Arabia. He made his ummah one by one. Even after 10 years of hardest labor, he couldn't bag more than 125 people. 10 years of hardest labor of no less person than Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he couldn't bag more than 125 people. So this is, and for those people who agree with me in these three points, Islam is deen, not mazhab or religion in the, you know, narrow sense of the word, limited sense of the word. Number two, it demands its domination. Number three, is the basic duty, fundamental duty of everyone who says he believes in Islam, to strive his hardest, to his utmost, to devote whatever he has 
تھرو دی اسٹرگل ٹو میک دی دین آف اللہ سپریم اینڈ ناؤ اف ڈیورنگ دیٹ اسٹرگل پرسیکیوشن کمس لاسز کمس یو ہیو ٹو گو ہنگری ولا نبل ون نقم بے شاہی من الخوف و جو و نقص من الوال و الفت و سمارات واز اٹ پوئٹری دس وارننگ کیم ٹو دی کمپیریز آف محمد لک ٹو آئس بفور یو لیپ دس وے از ناٹ این ایزی وے احسب الناس و یوسرق و یقول آمنا و ہم لا یفتنون و لقد فتن الذین من قبلہم ولا يعلم ان الله الذين صدقوا ولا يعلم ان الكافرين ولا يعلم ان الله الذين امنوا ولا يعلم ان المنافقين we shall differentiate them who are the true believers and who are the hypocrites only they are saying we are muslim only with the tips of their tongues not from the depths of their hearts <laughs>